Hi, welcome to the XPages extension library. My name is Jim Quill from IBM Dublin, Ireland. This video will show you how to use the dialog control for in-context editing. So let's start with a very basic application. It contains a simple data entry form and another X page that displays a view that contains all the documents. You can edit one of these documents from the view but it opens up another X page. Using the new dialog component in the X page extension library, we will be able to edit the document without having to change the X page. So let's create a new X page. Give it a, a title and add a panel. And this panel will have a data source that uses the same view as used in the previous application. Next, add a repeat control to the panel. Set the number of rows to three, three and give a collection name rows, which will be used later on. Above the repeat control, we add a pager and associate that pager with the repeat control. Now inside the repeat control, add two computed fields and a link command that we will use to open the dialog. Bind the two computed fields to columns in our view. And in the link command, add a client side event on click. that will execute some script to open up our dialog. We use the name dialog1. This is the identifier that will be used for our dialog later on. Next, in the source view, we add an XP span tag that we will use to contain our dialog. From the extension library palette, add the dialog control. In this dialog, we will first add a panel. This panel will have a, do a data source that contains the document that we are selecting for editing. Select the form and select the action to edit. And the document we edit will be computed by getting the note ID from the current row in the repeat control. Inside the panel, we'll create our data entry form. We can copy the form from our previous application. By simply cutting and pasting the table with the input text fields and pasting it into our panel. And there is our layout. 
Now we need to add some buttons to save the document and to cancel and edit. Name the first button save and add two actions. One to save the document and the second action is some script that will close the dialog and also hide the dialog. We specify the ID of the component we want refreshed. So this will display our repeat control with the change data. For the second button, we just have one action, and that is to hide the dialog. Since we don't change anything, there's no need to refresh. Now save everything and we can run our application. We can see the edited data from previously at the start of the video. Um, we get a modal dialog. We can edit the information and save, and we're still on the same X page. Again, we can select another piece of data, maybe make an edit, and then cancel. And that's it. Thank you for watching. You can find out more about the XPages extension library at extlib.openntf.org.